in today's class we will see about cells and then emf and internal resistance so first we will see what is a electrolytic cell cell electrolytic cell so it is nothing but a simple device to maintain a steady current in an electric circuit we use a device to maintain a steady current in an electric circuit which is called as an electrolytic cell electrolytic cell is a simple device to maintain a steady current in an electric circuit now if you see a schematic diagram a cell have two electrodes one is called a positive electrode and the other one is called a negative electrode which are immersed in a solution called electrolyte if you draw a schematic diagram for a cell you can see it consisting of two electrodes two electrodes one you can call a positive electrode another one a negative electrode and that is immersed on a solution and the solution is called as electrolyte electro light so basically a cell has two electrodes one you can call it as positive electrode p the other one you can call it as a negative electrode n and it is Im immersed in a solution called electrolytic solution so this is you can mark it as plus and minus so this arrangement is able to provide an electromotive force called emf which generally we do not using e whenever you connect an external circuit to this arrangement say here i am connecting a resistance r current starts flowing through the circuit so now we have two things to study here one is what an emf electromotive force other one is what is the terminal voltage of a cell first we'll see electromotive force emf emf or electromotive force electro motive force emf generally it is denoted by e so electro motive force e of a cell is the potential difference across its terminals when no electric current is flowing through it emf of a cell is the electromotive force of a cell is the potential difference across
its terminals when no electric current is flowing through it. flowing through it or that means when it is open circuit when it is an open circuit no current flowing means actually it is open circuit so electromotive force of SL is the potential difference across its terminal when no electric current is flowing through it or when the cell is open circuited Now, what is the internal resistance of a cell? Internal resistance. And normally it is denoted by small r. The internal resistance of a cell is the opposition offered by the cell itself to the flow of electric current. It is the, it is not by the external circuit, it is the opposition offered by the cell itself. It is the opposition offered by the cell itself to the flow of electric current. So, with this, a cell is always represented, the symbol for a cell is one positive terminal and the one is negative terminal so this you can mark as E and uh, the internal resistance will be in series with this cell so R this is the internal resistance this is how generally we symbolically represent a cell so no need of E in series with R Now, when there is no current flowing through this, the potential difference across the terminals, you know, which is same as E, that is nothing but EMF. So, this is E now, EMF. So, potential difference across the terminals of the cell, which is nothing but equal to E only. So, that is the electromotive force E. Now, we will see what happens when we connect an external circuit to this cell that time th the definition comes the terminal voltage terminal voltage generally it is denoted by capital V the terminal voltage of a cell is the potential difference across its terminals when some electric current is flowing through the cell <coughs> it is a potential difference across its terminals across its terminals when some electric current is flowing through it or you can say that when it is closed circuit closed circuit or when the cell is in a closed circuit now let us say we have a cell of emf e and an internal resistance r so i will mark with the cell <coughs> with this sorry 
dotted line so this dotted line my dotted line represents the cell so this is not r r is the resistance internal resistance this is emf e let us say we connect an external circuit which has a x resistance of r now because the cell is closed circuit current i flows through the circuit so if an external circuit with resistance r is connected a current i starts flowing now the terminal voltage is the voltage this across its terminals when a current is flowing so this is v terminal voltage so v is given by you can apply uh kirchhoff's law here v is equal to the emf e minus so v is this so this value is actually e minus i into r the terminal voltage of a cell is given by v is equal to e minus r v equal to e minus r or from the figure this also equal to i into r v is equal to e minus i into r also you can calculate the current as current in the circuit i is equal to e minus divided by total resistance the current in the circuit i is e divided by total voltage divided by total resistance that is ohm's law so e divided by r plus r from the figure itself we can also say that you know this terminal voltage v is also equal to i into r v is also equal to i into r actually if you uh, apply that equation only we'll get the current equation you have to substitute v is equal to i into r so in this equation actually if you substitute v is equal to i into r i into r is equal to e minus i into r or e is equal to ir plus i into r from this you will get the total current i as e divided by r plus r. so we can use any of these equation in the i is e by r plus r or the terminal voltage v is also equal to i into r or which is also equal to e minus i into r this is in case of simple circuit where we have only one external resistance so when an external resistance with resistor r is connected across a cell of emf e current i flows through the given circuit so here i is the total current flowing in the circuit r is the internal resistance and capital r is the external resistance so we can write all these terms over here e is the emf of the 
cell V is the terminal voltage R is the internal resistance capital R is the external resistance EMF of the cell, terminal voltage, internal resistance and external resistance.